bits and I was like oh my god that's so nice another little message but then I noticed that the vase is actually a gun now the place that I met so the place that I first ever met my twin was a pub called The Rose which has now changed its name to The Watson which is obviously Sherlock Holmes and Watson and we've been saying about the detectives now that's the first pub that I used to meet him in more recently, when I got in contact with him again, the pub that we have met near is called The Gun. <laughs> so I'm like, shut up. So we have The Rose and The Gun, basically the two places that I meet my twin in, in one vase, basically. Just, you know, surreal again, just surreal. Then this is the name of it, because I'm like, it is inspired by peace. It is a gun vase holding a rose. The rose is white, the symbol of truth, the symbol of purity, the symbol of love. And the fact that I, I took a picture because it says it's inspired by peace, which is exactly, again, what we're doing as Twin Flames. This one I took because I thought this is for us. This is on the way out of the shop and it says Nutcracker. And I'm like... You know what? You couldn't put that more perfectly. Because as I walked into that shop, I was like, okay, am I actually going fucking crackers? Because every single thing I look at is a message for somebody that I've done healing for. Or has been a sign, or has been something. And I literally was in the shop for two se you know, two minutes just walking around, taking more and more pictures and thinking, actually, I need to get out of here because this is just too much. I'm like losing the... I'm am I actually going insane? So I took this because it was Nutcracker. It doesn't end. As I'm walking out, I notice that there's a book in a glass case and it is a book about New York. In it, it has, it's talking about the Chelsea, Chelsea Harbour and also all of the areas that I lived at, basically. I lived in meatpacking and uh, right by the High Line. And uh, so they're starting talking about that and I, that's what it says, basically. This whole thing is a diary entry about where I lived. So I was like, shut up. Okay, so I th this, is the this is just so funny. At this point, I, was just, I just couldn't stop laughing. So I was like, people obviously just must have thought I was mad. So I walk out of the shop and in the window, I noticed that there is a cat coming out of a fire engine. <laughs> now a long time ago, I can't remember time but basically I did a healing for a woman where she was saved by her twin um out of a fire and um I saw her um being saved by her twin out of the fire and he came and brought her out onto the lawn and um when she came back to me she said no way that I did have a fire and my twin has carried me across my lawn. And there was something about a cat as well. So I'm like, oh my God. Well, you can not get more of a message than that. Basically, there's a cat driving a fire engine. <laughs> I mean, just seriously. Just, I mean, just brilliant. <laughs> this really made me laugh. Because in the window next to that, there's a cat on a record. <laughs> And because, you know, so many of our messages are coming through from our songs and music and everything. So the fact that it's a cat on top of a record player, I mean, again, just pretty up because the cat is very much the sign of, you know, divine masculine or your twin, right? So I was just like, okay, that's brilliant. So then after that, I get into... So I leave that place and then I go to the... Um... <laughs> Sorry. So then I go to the exhibition, right? So I go to the exhibition and the, first, and the first thing they have, like the dude talking in a video. I walk through and then there's this slight thing and it's basically bursting out and to be your inner self, right? Letting your inner self shine and not be shackled by your shadow and everything that you've put around you. So this is exactly what we're doing, right? As Twin Flames, you're bursting through and letting, letting all of your pieces and broken pieces out let them see the light so you can put yourself back together again so um the world of dc comics now here we go because these are the things that i did a video on but there's more yesterday a couple of days ago we were using the Quan yin emerald isle energies so the first thing i saw when i came in was this massive fist with emerald coming into it and we'd done the emerald isle uh sorry emerald, i keep saying emerald isle we'd done the emerald fountain with Quan yin so I was like, you could get, I was like, thanks Kuan Yin, you can get a better sign than that. 
<laughs> so we have the green light and a lantern again the guy that <laughs> i've done the healing for he then messaged me to say the green guy is basically the one that has he can manifest anything into his life right using the green lantern or i don't know whether he uses it but anyway so i was like oh my god this is so cool now this <laughs> there is a duck in a bathtub with the green dude so, you know, the fact that we're manifesting the life of our dreams, using the twin spirit energy to create the life of your dreams, which is what I've been banging on about in every video, and then sat in a bathtub with the green dude with a duck. <laughs> you can't make it up, right? Because also, my guidance always says that um, I really want a big copper bath. And my twin, uh, and so my guidance, my twin spirit is always like, yes, we're going to have a big copper bath, right? And we'll have that. And, you know, it's just like, so the fact that this is <laughs> in this exhibition, a bath with a duck with the green dude in, I was like, okay, this is just brilliant. Um, not only that, but there is a Roman centurion in the exhibition, which I just thought this is so totally out of place. Why have we got a Roman centurion here? But with this, I mean, it is perfect, right? Because I've seen Roman, Roman, you know, Greek and Greek gods and things like that have come up a lot in people's healing. So again, I was just like, oh my God, I love it. This, this chick's wearing a David Lichtenstein dress, right? David Lichtenstein is the painter that, that, that painted this, who I was gonna go to the Tate with to go and see his exhibition. I bought this years ago when I first met my twin, right? So, I <laughs> think just more and more and more things. Okay, so what kind of hero will you be? So, I'm just gonna read this out. So take a look at yourself. No, not that kind of look, a really deep look. Think about who you are. Ask yourself what the last heroic thing you did was. Did you do that heroic thing today? If you did, feel proud of yourself. Seriously, go ahead and let yourself fill with pride. The way we fill a balloon with air. If you can't recall the last heroic thing you did, well, what are you waiting for? Make a vow right now to change your life. To be 10% more heroic than you were when you walked in here today. Go forth, my friends, and be great heroes today. Okay, then we have the green lighten. <laughs> Then we have bloody Superman with some angel wings. Then we have the caped crusader, the little kid. Now this is the best thing ever. I consider this sculpture the soul of the exhibition. Why? Because what you're looking at in this child that lives in all of us. Remember who you were as a kid. Remember who you wanted to be. We all have dramatic dreams for ourselves when we're young. But as we age, the adult responsibilities stop piling up on us like gatherings of stone, and we lose the dramatic dreams, we forget what they looked like, what they sounded like, what they felt like. If there's one thing I want everyone to walk away from this exhibition with today, it's this. It's a rediscovery of those original dreams. Take a moment, yes, now, and remember those dreams. Remember what you wanted in the earliest days of your life. Remember how those original dreams made you feel. Feel the painful longing you felt. Then spend the rest of the hours in the day feeling those feelings. No matter what you've become, no matter what you do with your days or who you are, hang on to those original dreams. Don't let them go because the purest essence of who you are, of who you were meant to be, is there. The truest you is there. Work hard to remember that every day. Never lose sight of it again. I look forward to meeting all of your truest selves at my next exhibition. So, you know, I mean, what an amazing, amazing thing to say, because actually that's what your twin spirit, and the fact that this exhibition actually is by my twin spirit's initials, right? So I know that that's him telling me, I want you to do this. I want you to live the life of your dreams. I want you to make this happen. So this is why you just know that it's totally, totally driven by all of our higher selves. Um, and then there are just so, so many meaningful quotes. So it basically says, of all people, you know who I am, who the world needs me to be. I am Wonder Woman. <laughs> just brilliant. Empowerment comes from playfulness. Play is an essential apparatus in the artist's toolbox. 
Now again, I have said to my twin, come on, let's go and play, right? And I, because I see him like, he's like a child, you know, I see, I feel like when I'm with him, I feel like a child, right? I want, I feel I can do anything and I can be anything that I want to be and there's no boundaries, right? So that's why all of these messages, and I'm sure that all of us feel the same. So a new journey to be started, a new promise to be fulfilled, a new page to be written. Go forth unto this waiting world with pen in hand. All you young scribes, the open book awaits. Be creative, be adventurous, be original, and above all else, be young. For youth is your greatest weapon, your greatest tool, and use it wild, wisely. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it because you know what? This is why, you know, and the fact that we get another confirmation because the other Divine Masculine contacted me to say that he'd just done a tattoo of Wonder Woman. And I must say the tattoo is pretty amazing as well. And um, and he gets up every morning and feeds the ducks. And he lives in a and he lives in a community which has reference to forest and wood. So you know what? This is why it is so amazing. And goes full circle because we go back to in the another lady had sent me some links to other lego um pieces that had been made if you like 35 of the best lego now we go full circle because in one of them there is a huge woody toy story character so we go full circle all the way around to touching wood all over again with like a um, 16 foot woody made out of lego right and so this is why you have to be young, you have to be youthful, you have to play with it. You have to play with your twin spirit. Start to see the fun side of it because actually it's all about playing with your life in everything, right? In, you know, using, I mean, everything, just even those, you know, you can get, like I made a reference to at the beginning, um, for all you women out there, who Divine Feminines that are listening, the, they're called yoni eggs. You can get them in rose quartz. And basically, you insert them into you. And the crystal, the rose quartz is massively healing for a start. But also, you allow yourself to be empowered by your sexual energies to then um, create the life of your dreams, right? Because that tantric energy that you're basically creating within yourself is such a strong force you know the, the the rose quartz obviously is unconditional love but also you know to work that energy so you can you're building that energy and that life force within you to then create magic everywhere around you and call in your twin spirit to help you it's all about playing with energy right um playing with the universe playing with you know these energies that are around us to help us support on this journey I mean, the fact that, that you couldn't get many more signs. I mean, really, this was like in one shop. Uh, no, in, this was like in an art exhibition, a shop, and then a Lego exhibition, right? So this is what I'm saying. You are destined to be together because we need superheroes in this world, right? Um, there is there's no question about it we've got i mean there's just more and more and more cat women and for, um for this woman oh yeah this is it she was like harley it made me look at her because the harley davidson and the um uh the harley davidson and riding a motorbike quite but apparently she's normally quite feisty but they have her in a zen pose she's basically meditating and the write-up about it was that you basically they want her to be centered so again, everything that we're doing, because actually your power is within, your power is when you are centered, when you're grounded, when you're focused on channeling your energy into your heart, right? And working with your heart space, not in your mind. So anyway, just a million and one signs in one place. So I just wanted to say, to share them with you because each one of these has come from somebody's healing, right? So just remember this, we love our superheroes because they refuse to give up on us. We can analyze them out of existence, kill them, ban them, mock them, and still they return, patiently reminding us of who we are and what we wish we could be. Well, I couldn't say it better myself, right? So we are here to, you know, to really lift up the vibration of the planet and be superheroes for your own life. 
All right, well, I hope that helps. Take care, have a good one, bye.